Hello folks, I'm Odinspack33, and welcome back to some more Super Mario Advance 4, the e-reader levels. This is part 6, I think, now, <laughs> if I am correct. We're actually almost done on the last part. Uh, we took care of these four levels here, Spiral Tower, 60 Seconds, Rope Land, and Haunted Hall. Not bad, Haunted Hall was cool because it was another Ghost House style level. Yeah, but we're almost on the last page here of levels. We should get right into it because time is a factor, as always. You don't want to be bored by me explaining stuff. Uh, this is Clear Skies. I did mention on the last part that I'd be streaming every day um, when I got settled into my new place. And I'd like to tell you guys right now that that is probably not the case. Uh, I'm trying to stream as much as I can. Um, but I do have a schedule in place for streaming uh, that you can actually find on the Puddle Plains schedule, um, <laughs> not, I was going to say schedule finder, but that's not it. But we have a schedule in place, I'll put the link in the description. I mentioned it in an update video I had, but I know not everyone watches the updates and not everyone watches Metroid Prime, so I'm trying to uh, account for all of my audience. So that's why I'm explaining it here. So if you guys have already heard me say this in the update or or in Metroid Prime, then understand that I'm trying to... Like, I know most people are actually watching this project over anything else. I know it's been like over a month since I did the last one. And I'm sorry about that. But uh, it's just been... School has been... Uh, it's been difficult. There's been a lot of work to it. Uh, but I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. And I'm trying to get a video up every day. Uh, because the videos actually aren't so bad uh, now that I think about it. Did I get that? I didn't get that, did I? How did I not get that? Really? You get, you get points for this going down. There we go. But yeah, videos are... Especially these videos, they're actually not hard to um, put up. As long as I can upload a whole bunch at once. Now this isn't uploaded a whole bunch at once. This is Saturday, being recorded for Saturday. So... This will probably be just a one-time recording because like, I gotta work and everything. But anyway, here's a here's a feather. I've really been talking about this level too much. It's a sky level, definitely your typical. Um, okay, that can't be right. Is that what they seriously want us to do? Or, or are you supposed to? I think you're just supposed to run out like this. Yeah, but I think you want to go up here because yeah. So if I'm not mistaken, there is a uh, E coin you can get if you fly up here. But the thing is, I think we might miss uh, advanced coin. So we might have to do this a couple of times. We have a bunch of time. Is, it, provided I have the ability uh, to go backwards, it should be fine. I think the E coin's actually in here. That's kind of cool. The E coin's actually in the um, question mark block. I don't know if we have the. Uh, Okay, yeah, they, they do give us the ability to go back. Okay. I'm gonna... Oh, there was one of them there, too. I'm gonna try to fly over all of these coins here. Um, only because... I don't want... I, I want to use them as a guide. Um, oh, apparently I went way too far. Okay, this is fine, because there's a pipe here, right? Yeah. But I want to use them as a guide to get the other advanced coins. I think we should be good. Okay. Ah, there's a, there's an advanced coin down there for sure. Yeah. All right, we're going back for that. <laughs> Hope you guys aren't sick of me flying yet, because I ain't coming back to this level. Okay. You know, we probably don't actually have to dive bomb. We can actually probably just fly low to the skies here and get it. Maybe this is about the height I want to be at. I missed it. Okay. Well, I don't want to fly too low now, or else I won't get back up. Okay, we good. We still got some time, like I said. Like, look, this is the last advanced coin to get anyway, so... I should follow the guide, but... Oh, well. Dang it! <laughs> Ugh. And the thing is, I can't stop either, because if I do, I'm gonna die, so... Alright, we, we, we don't get any more attempts at this. We all follow the coins here. There we go. That was a little safer. Now we can get out of this level. Thankfully. 
I don't think there's much to it. I think at the very end here is literally the exit. I don't think there's anything else to the level, so. But yeah, you are supposed to use the dive bomb to to get the coin like that. But obviously I failed, because the thing about playing on the Game Boy Advance, obviously this is not the actual Game Boy Advance, but you don't have as wide of a screen as you would on, say, like the Super Nintendo, right? So, Although you obviously can't play Advance 4 on the Super Nintendo. Or on the NES, for that matter. So. So that was the first level there. It took a little while. Look at this, guys. We're on the last page here. Uh, there are some other levels, too. I'm going to see if I can do those as well. Uh, but this um, this ROM I got here doesn't really let me have all the levels at once. Because you actually can't. The, the actual cartridge of the game only accepts so many levels at a time. Did I just want to go down here? I hope I didn't miss anything. Well, let's hope. Let's, let's take the leaf. If it wants to give us a leaf, we'll take it. Uh, cause you, like, I have the actual game of this, right? You can actually scan the Japanese levels cards to your, um, North American game, which is actually kind of cool. I've never done it, though, because I would, either you'd either need the e-reader cards or you'd need the codes on a card. It's kind of complicated, but, but yeah, you, you could do that. Was a one up there? How about that? Nido. I feel like we missed an advanced coin for sure. Or it means we're gonna have to do this level again. Where'd that <laughs> mushroom come from? Ah, dang it. I'm surprised there's not shy guys here. They got the little hedgehog guys, or whatever they're called, from Mario 2. I don't know, that was the first advanced coin? Okay, sweet. Okay. I want to say we're supposed to go left first. I'm only feeling this because, like, this seems harder. So. And there's, like, like Sonic there. I don't want to deal with him. It looks like Sonic. It really looks like Sonic. I'm not 100% sure, though. I, I think this is, um... For bonus items, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Really? All right, I was gonna meet you guys back there. All right, guys, I made it back to this screen. I figured this is a good part to get back to. Well, this time I have a super mushroom. Now we know there's a one up down there, but I'm not gonna bother with it because there's no real point. And yeah, see, there's a this is a dead end. There's a advanced coin there. So this is the way we wanted to go. Look at all these paratroopers. See, you know what's weird? That Super Mario Maker's out now, and like this feels like it could be a Mario Maker level, but you can't do any of this stuff. You can't put in those guys in the game. There's no diggable sand. There's no advanced coins. I, I wish that was the thing. So, I don't know. Super Mario Maker's awesome, and this this feels like how this level. There's definitely levels that feel like this that people really try. Like some people don't try. There's a lot of terrible levels out there, but. I don't know, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with Super Mario Maker. And I know I, I posed this question actually in the update that I did, but I think it might be more appropriate for this audience, that may, maybe that uh, didn't see the poll. But after I finish this, it'll probably only be like a video or two more. Look at these guys ready to strike and kill each other. So after this series finishes, I had planned on doing a ROM hack, um, like a really cool ROM hack. Or, uh, and well, when I was done that, I was gonna start doing Mario Maker stuff, right? But now that Mario Maker is out, and I didn't exactly finish this in the amount of time, uh, would you guys be interested in seeing the ROM hack before I do Mario Maker stuff? I know on the the poll video that I made, uh, I only I got two responses, and one was for and one was against, so. <laughs> It doesn't really help my cause, but I definitely really want to show off the ROM hack. I'll let you guys know that. That's my personal preference. I would l really like to show you guys that first. But if you guys would rather see Mario Maker, then I don't blame you. Then, just let me know. I, I just want you to know that you won't be disappointed with the ROM hack. It's really good. So It really feels like its own game. It's not just like I'm playing Super Mario World, for instance, and it's different levels. No, it's it's actually really good.
So, is this Aqua Bars of Doom? Is that what this is called? I think there's Fire Bars here. I don't think they're actually Aqua. But they want me to have a Fire Flower, so I guess I'll take it. I think it's a swimming level with Fire Bars underwater. Yeah. Yeah, it totally is. Aqua Bars of Doom. Dumb. But you can do this kind of stuff in Mario Maker for sure, 100%. The thing I do wish in Mario Maker, I'm going to keep talking about that a little bit, just because, is I wish you had the ability to put on the Super Nintendo, like, uh, Mario All-Stars graphics to the games, because I think it would look awesome. It would be sweet to do Mario 3, but, like, with this style of graphics, that would be awesome. Uh, but, you, but you can't. <laughs> Still not out there now. You can't do that. So, But that would be awesome if you could. You also can't do fire bars like that, but I guess you could uh, if you planned it out right, but it wouldn't be exactly like that. So. I don't know. They got some cool fire bars here. Man, this is, this is going to be a tough one to make. These things actually spin faster the longer they are. But I guess that's like, that's like true, but like they would still s spin at the same pace, if you know what I mean. Uh, this is all for advanced coin? Man, that is involved. They don't mess around, eh, with these later uh, e-reader levels? Fudge. Like, all bunch of opportunities get hit here, but I guess there is a power up there as well. But there's one here, too, right? It's a lot easier to get back. Man. Hey, look at that! That's cool looking! Man, I'm, I'm getting all sorts of ideas. <laughs> I could. This level is probably possible to recreate now that I'm thinking about it. It doesn't look like too impossible to recreate. You'd have to replace the advanced coins with like extra lives or something. Oh, I'm getting hit by that. Yeah, but it looks like it would be doable for sure. So that's kind of cool. Maybe, maybe I will recreate it. I probably won't, only because like. I'd rather make my own stuff. But anywho, enough about that. This is what is this only like the second level we're into right now? Or no, this is the third level. We did the cloudy skies one as well. I was like, this is taking a really long time. But then I also realized that fudge. <laughs> I also realized that I died uh, in the last level, so I had to cut it a bit short. Or I'm gonna have to cut my my recording a bit short. Dang it, I just want to see what was up here! I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die here. Well, maybe I won't. Okay, we're good. Okay, that feels like the way to go. Last advance coin is probably over here. Yeah, this is for sure the last advanced coin, because they make you go through all that. You know they're going to give you the advanced coin over here. Just where is it? No? Really? I missed it? There was a secret? Uh, you got to be kidding me. Man, I got to do that level again just for that advanced coin? I thought... Oh, man, I thought that would have been like an alternate exit. Man... Alright guys, well, I'm gonna go quickly do that, and then we'll do Bowser's Castle Redux after that. Alright guys. We're going to take on Bowser's Castle Redux here. Now, this is, might be my third or fourth attempt at this. This is actually a really tough level. Um, it's cool, too, though. It's definitely a redux, though. Uh, meaning that it's a recreation of the original Bowser's Castle. But it's different. It's definitely way different. Uh, it's, it feels a lot more linear, but it also feels more like a Bowser Castle. I don't really know how I can explain that. But it's cool at the beginning here, because there's three different paths you can take. Uh, I'm going to show them all off, too. Um, hopefully, uh, more successfully than I'm doing right now. 
but the, each of the three different paths actually represent uh, the different paths you can take, or the different levels in World 8. Uh, you know the World 8 uh, levels that have the hands that, that uh, drag you in, the, the grabbing hands levels as I like to refer them as? Uh, well, those are actually all represented here in the three different paths. So this is the Hammer Brothers variant. I'm getting you, Sledge, bro. Come on. Let's come up for a piece. There we go. Oh, well, I could have used that, because now we have the, the Fire Bros, which is definitely the hardest part of this. And they're, they're, put, they're positioned so perfectly, too. Okay, I got them. But yeah, so there's one for the Hammer Brothers, there's one for the Potaboos, and there's one for the Cheap Cheeps. Um, and then they all lead you to this room here, which is pretty cool. I'm not going to grab that because we want to keep the leaf. And that is a leaf for sure. And I can't... Okay, we got to run past this part here. Because they try to lead you into the spikes. But I'm not sure how to get up here, but there's a way to do it. And I think it involves the super leaf. It might also involve that as well. Can I kill these guys with the coins? No. I think you can kill them with this, though. Okay. So this is actually going to give us a platform in which we can run. There's a bunch of hidden blocks here. I guess I didn't have to hit that one. So this is going to give us a way to run up there, and this is where the second advanced coin is. It's pretty hidden, because... I, I think you can use the super leaf, but I, th I think you can also use uh, those platforms that rise as well. Actually, I think that's what you want to do. I think you want to get up here, um, and you want to lower these things here so you can come on up like this. Just like so. I don't know the point of that donut lift. It's It exists, but it definitely doesn't serve a purpose. Anyway, this here's where it feels really like a Bowser's Castle. Kind of reminds me of uh, the new Super Mario Bros. Wii uh, Bowser's Castle. Because I think there was a Kamek... Oh, no, 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 no. What? No, there was a Kamek level in... Um, in, uh, in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, right? There was a castle where you fought Kamek. And I think there was a, there was a room like this. And there's also uh, Yoshi's Island where there's a room that Kamek just kind of messes with you the whole time. But these are just Magic Koopas. This isn't Kamek, but man... I really wish I didn't lose a super leaf, because I just really want inside there. Okay, there we go. Darn it! Ugh. Thing is, Kama can give you mushrooms too. If you're lucky. There might be a mushroom in one of these. Okay. No, I don't want to break those. I'm going to be careful here, because there's probably something up here. It's actually not. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to use Kamek here to get down here safely. He, he'll break this for us eventually. <laughs> we'll just wait. We'll wait for him to do his thing. There we go. I keep calling him Kamek, but really it's just a magic hoopa. But now we got the Bowser statues, and they're gonna shoot out fire just like they do in Super Mario World. Like, this is really cool. I, I like this a lot. And now we got, like, donut lift spike blocks. So I guess if you hit them from underneath, you'll um, get damaged. So we don't want that. So that's that's kind of cool. But not really necessary there. I guess it's just, they just kind of add to the... There should have been some of those where the um, donut lifts were before. Oh, there's actually a secret up there, isn't there? Oh, no, there's not. There is an alternate path here. I can't remember where it is, though. It must not be there. Maybe it's up here? I'm not, not sure if it's up here. No, it's not here. But there's definitely an alternate path in here. Okay, there was a potaboo here. There was, wasn't there? I guess not. And maybe I don't know if we need the super leaf. We have to get up, go up here to get it. Ugh, man. Okay, but this is where it splits. And you know how there's two different. I think I mentioned this. There's two different Bowser fights. Look at all these fireballs, man. Bowser's being relentless right now. Holy fudge! 
You know how there's two uh, different paths in the original game to get to Bowser? Well, there is in this too, but you want to go to this one if you want the advanced coin. I think the other one will, won't will have it. But look at this, we actually got to fight Bowser, so I think that's pretty cool. And we got we to make him come down to us here. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot harder because you got these platforms up here to worry about. Okay. We're doing a little better now. There's not many paths uh, to get him down here either. Dang it. He didn't break that? He just kind of jumped up there. Alright, well, that's okay. We're going to get him in here, so. He's almost done. Oof. Oh, just one more Bowser. Oh, he might be able to get me from there. Right, we got him. I think, that's, I think that's just it. You don't go into any... You don't rescue Peach or anything. It's just, that's the end of the level. But yeah, really tough level for sure. Uh, I'm going to have to show you guys the other alternate paths here too. I'm going to do that. I'm going to off screen and do that. But we got all the advanced coins, so that's good. That might be the toughest level in here. Although some of these other ones are really tough too, especially to try and get all the e-coins, or the advanced coins. Actually, I think the Bowser airship levels are even tougher. But anyway, we're going to do this again. Because we liked it so much. Alright, we're back at the dividing parts now. So the left one took us to the Hammer Brothers, so we're going to go in the middle one now. And this takes us to the Potaboo section. I think it's kind of cool that even in the e-reader extra levels, there's multiple paths. Like, how... that's pretty cool. This might be the easiest of the sections, I think, because... well, I got hit, so maybe not. But, I, I don't know, I think Potaboos are the least threatening of anything, because they're very predictable. So, there's that section. All right, we're back here. The for sure hardest of these three paths right here is the... Ch can I jump over this? Oh, wow, you can. Okay. Do that. <laughs> I've been going under there for like three or four attempts now. Uh, and I get hit every time. This part is so difficult. It's ridiculous. Don't take this path. Like, if for whatever reason you do take this path, do what I did. But man, that was hard. All right, but that's going to be it for this part of e-reader. So thank you for watching. I've been Owens back 33. I'll see you next time for um not the finale. I think there's two more parts of this. So till then, take care and goodbye now.